Good morning. It's only 20 past seven. We had a little uh, lie-in and uh, we're off. There's a slight rain. It's nothing heavy. It's... Uh, can hardly feel it. And the, the rain that's collected is hardly anything at all which is kind of disappointing really because I've got everything out ready for catching the rain loads of buckets and things so that once the uh, rain comes down we can collect and use it for drinking water for the animals which is beautiful come on bear come on you see over the village there <laughs> and, uh, can't really see but the lavender's starting to come out can you see all over there's lavender in many places it's amazing you don't quite get the smell yet but it's a beautiful cloudy day there's some beautiful blues and greys up there look at that for landscape and uh, had a really good night's sleep I found two ticks on Batty as we snuggled down to bed it was like oh so <laughs> removed those <coughs> And then we snuggled down to sleep and uh, had a really good rest. I'm going to do a separate video on uh, my findings with yesterday's film. Film, live, so watching that live talk with Gabo and Mate and Prince Harry. And... You know, it's not for everyone. But when you come across people sharing about grief and trauma, which is something that we all carry, it's really interesting to hear other people's discussions, um, other people's experience. It's really interesting to see how people find the grace in in some awful you know awful experiences Gabo Mate he found the grace when he was uh, passed over to save his life as a, a newborn well a very young baby uh, his mother handed him over to a complete stranger uh, and he moved with them to save his life during the war. So, for him, he experienced neglect and abandonment. But now he knows the bigger picture. Now he knows the reason why. And it wasn't personal. It wasn't that... No one wanted him. It's that they wanted just to save it. Well, not just to, but they wanted to save his life. And when we get a higher understanding, we can see things from a different perspective. But it always starts with the awareness, the willingness to raise our awareness and find the truth of a situation. So, so yeah. So I'll stop with that now because some of you will want to listen, some of you won't. So I think it's only right that I pop it into a different video so I can really, really sit down and share how I feel about it and uh, what I think. On our way back now and uh, the rain is now getting a bit a bit much heavier which is great news I know you might think well why is it great news you're out in it 
Well, I'm wearing a raincoat, I've got my hat on, I've got my welly bobs, so it's not an issue whatsoever. I will dry off. Bear loves rain anyway. And if it comes down um, at some, you know, rate of knots, that's perfectly okay because I'll collect more water uh, for the animals, which is another epic win. The only thing that's sad is that I haven't got my gutter system up because um, I haven't been able to collect it yet. But all in good time. And for those worrying what will happen over summer, don't worry. I'm perfectly all right at the moment. And as soon as it's the right time, I'll be getting my ABCs and then I'll be uh, filling them up uh, with the bomberos. So it's not that I'm going to run out of water or anything like that. I've still got two wells and... Um, access to fonts and there's nothing to stop me buying water in the shop you know it's raining and who'd have thought it the ducks have come for shelter you re bizarre I could understand if all the chickens were sat in here but they're not <laughs> Oh, never mind, at least they're happy. I know they can come over, get a drink and uh, chill out. Bears come inside. Uh, oh, drop my tissue. Bears come inside to be with us. Aren't you, Bear? So, because it's such a tiny house, he has to be tied up to stop him running off. Uh, but he doesn't when the door's shut, but it's daytime, so we have to keep the door open for the daylight. Uh, Elsa's in there. Batty's not got out of bed yet. He, well, he did for a quick wee, and now he's come back to bed. He's not at his breakfast yet either, hence it being on the bed and the towel. And I'm busy washing up. <laughs> and then I'll get a cup of tea and breakfast. Well, these two are just chilling. They've just had the tea. And everyone else has been fed. So, we're just waiting on Elsa. Earlier today, just around dinner time, Elsa went for a wander uh, on the land. She does. She never, ever goes far. She just wanders up and down and then comes back and... She always stays with me, always. And uh, I saw her going round the back of the fence, so I says, Elsa shouted her, and she carried on. I thought, what's going on? She looked like she, she it was like, you know, with the prey drive where they, they were like sneaking on. I'm thinking, well, what's she seen? So I was looking at the other animals and I counted the ducks and I counted the chickens and everything was here and nothing was alerting there was no sign of any distress everyone was fine but Elsa was looking like she was about to hunt something down the side of the fence I thought I'll give her give her a few minutes I'll give her a few minutes and I shouted and she didn't come back a bit more, shouted, didn't come back. I went over and shouted and looked. I couldn't see her, she didn't come back. And uh, I thought, well, she can't be far. Because, like, she doesn't ever go far, <laughs> you know. So, it's just been... Like, wondering what's going on and, uh, oh wow, that's an Iberian magpie just landed uh, outside on the circle. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for her and shouting. You can't see her. So the only thing I can think of is that we might find her on our walk. I 
message my runner. Message the Estrella breeder. Uh, so that's someone in the village and someone else the other side of, uh, well, it's Escorts to Seema. And Moira said, well, you know, she, she should be all right. She, you know, she'll probably be back for dinner. I thought, oh, she should be back by, <laughs> you know, in plenty of time. So I've tried to give myself things to do so I can bear with. And, uh, there's no sign and it's really bizarre so I feel a bit strange but let Batty you know and Bear chill and then we'll, we'll have to go go off and see if she shows up on our walk but I really do miss her I know after she went I heard her bark a couple of times but how really? You know, I've not heard any gunshots at all and I believe today is Sunday. So it's the second Sunday, no shooting, no guns, no hunters, no cars coming past. It's been really beautifully quiet. Yesterday really peaceful again. Didn't see the neighbours either. Um, so all I can do is... Hang in there and see uh, see what turns up or doesn't turn up. And there's a lot of land to cover and um, to search for her. But um, I have no idea. Anyway, let's hope she turns up. Well, I'm off. it's that time of day. It's the uh, afternoon walk where we're just past our halfway point I can't see Batty again you know these dogs today I, I'm in this I've noticed my my nervous system is in the state of shock there he is uh, after Elsa's disappearance and I Got the food out, fed everyone. Didn't hear her. And shortly after, it was nearly time for going for the walk. And uh, I heard this noise outside. And uh, I went to the gate, and there she was. So moving there so there you go Elsa was back she galloped in so excited to be home I swear she was smiling I was like where have you been and she was soaking wet through I give her lots of uh, fusses as I dried her off with the towel she put herself straight onto her bed and uh, she was just sat there like I'm home and I'm comfy in bed again now. So, thankfully, she she was she seemed all right, and uh, the way she galloped in, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with her at all. So, uh, and she wasn't it, like there was no wincing or anything when I dried her off with the towel. So, and then twice on this walk Batty has uh, disappeared for a short period of time before coming back and uh, because of Batty's size and if those of you that may remember the birds of prey uh, I get a little bit if I can uh, see Batty so my uh, my my heart centre is feeling rather tight, constricted, and I feel a bit sick <laughs> uh, after this afternoon's carryings on. And uh, I think I'm going to have to have because I I'm I'm that 
uh, tense. I can feel it in my arms, my back, my whole body is uh, really tensed up. I need to just like let go and breathe into being again. So I need to not do any more work or anything else today. Uh, and and just relax because although I did have someone that I was going to see at, uh, after bedtime for the animals, I really don't think it's wise to see see them uh, and do a video call because I'm not in any fit state to hold hold space for people when my sympathetic nervous system's doing this so I'm gonna go now I'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of the walk and uh, get get home and settle down and wait for bedtime and then hopefully I can cuddle up with Batty and uh, get the fire on and have a good sleep and tomorrow will be uh, another day.